Hey guys, what's going on? Joe with Lomo Paintball, and today I'm going to show you the new Bunker King Command CMD, uh, some of the new blackouts here. Alright guys, so we got in stock with us, uh, in front of my hand I got the uh, Black Acid, you got your Black Demon over here, you got your Black Samurai, uh, these are part of the new Blackout series of the Bunker King Commands. You guys may have seen a video a while back, but uh, hey, we're going over it, we're letting you guys know we got some new product in stock, so these things are looking phenomenal, guys. Uh, the Bunker King CMD goggle has been incredibly popular, uh, a lot of you guys comment on our videos all the time that you love it, it's your favorite mask. Uh, so just kind of wanted to bring it to you guys, show you show you everything, uh, you know, check them out. So like I said, this is the black acid one, black with the uh, green highlights. It's got the purple kind of green lens in there. Uh, thing looks really cool. Um, they all got a uh, special kind of color coordinated strap on the back. It's got kind of the black looking, uh, the BK logos across there. Uh, these straps are really nice, guys. These are real wide straps. Uh, then on the inside, they got some real cool Bunker King inlays, little hexagons, and the Bunker King logo. Uh, real grippy, uh, fits nice and tight to you. Of course, it's got your chin strap to be NXL compliant. Uh, we Kill Suckers, Bunker King logo on the inside. Um, on top, this is actually a pretty cool feature. It's got this nice little kind of mini visor on here. It just kind of cuts down the glare that you'd get from the top, um, you know, whatnot. So that's actually a you know, pretty nice little feature. Um, foam wise, it's got the Bunker King uh, logos embedded in the foam. This is a real thick, uh, nice, comfortable foam for you. And it is removable, foam clips out. You can buy a full foam replacement kit. That's pretty much standard on all your high end goggles nowadays. Um, throw it on for you real quick so you guys can get an idea of the profile. Let's put that on. Fits nice, fits good. Uh, it's got all this venting in here. It's supposed to be real loud. Let you project your voice so Mark can hear me in the back. So, um, yeah, kind of, you guys can see the cut, see the look. I will and, admit, we did a video earlier with another mask, and you were a little bit muffled once you put it on and we were talking. I didn't hear much difference with that one on at all. Yeah, no, it's uh, so that's one of the things that, uh, you know, one of the features they really try to work on. As you can see, it has a ton of, of just kind of venting and porting and all that. Still gonna keep you safe even if you take one right to the grill. Uh, but yeah, it's got a lot of vents, a lot of porting, so that way you can take command on the field, guys. Um, so yeah, that's kind of a basic overview of the goggle. You saw how it fits, kind of an all one piece molded um, uh, setup here. And then uh, we can change the lens for you. I'll show you guys how to do that. Uh, so inside here, um, you got a little push button tab one on each side. So in order to change it, you're gonna to wanna to push your strap forward. Um, you kinda of got this big plastic piece here. You push this forward, it gives you a little room, and then there's gonna be a center button and it actually says press here. So I'm gonna push this in. I'm gonna press here. Here it kinda of snap out of place. And then that allows me to pull the strap back. So the strap's out. So you saw what I did, I took this thing, because uh, this kind of locks in place. So you push this forward, it gives you enough room so you can push this down, and then you pull it right back out. So it's locked in place, push it that little extra bit forward, push in, and then pull right out. Um, do the same on the other side. So I'm gonna push this forward, give me a little bit of room so I can push that down. When we get it down, you can start to slide it back. So bam, I disconnected both of those right there for you. And then now you got these two, um, both of these little pads, they hinge open. So Mark, get in there for the camera. So that hinges open like that. That hinges open like that. Show it to me again so I can make sure I can see how it, show the one closer to you. So it pulled it down or over? Over. Over. Okay. Yep. So that's kind of locked in. Your strap locks into place. So I push this forward, push this down, and slid it out. And then just hinge that open. I hinge it open on the other side. And then I can just kind of push my lens from each side. And my lens comes right out. 
Uh, so the lens in this, uh, there's a whole line of Bunker King specific branded lenses uh, with their special colors. Uh, but this lens is the same lens that'll fit in the Vio Contours, the Vio Ascends, the Vio XS, the Vio... Um, yeah, there were a couple other versions of it. So that is a cool thing about the Virtue lenses and the Bunker King lenses, that they're completely compatible across um, a bunch of their different goggles. And these lenses really aren't that expensive. They're only 39 bucks, even for the fancy colored ones. Uh, of course, you get clear and smoke, your standard colors, and those I think are only like 29 bucks. So their lenses are actually very reasonably priced. I know there's a lot of lenses now from other companies that are just like out of bounds in price. I mean, that starting to see like $65 lenses and stuff. I'm like, oh my God. I'm like, the guy, I mean, the mask, I can almost, you know, I could buy a, <laughs> I could buy a lot of masks in complete setups for what some of these other companies are charging for uh, replacement lenses. So uh, that's definitely one of the cool things about the Virtue and Bunker King lenses. They work in a bunch of goggles and they're even they're nice lenses, they're nice lenses and they're not all that much money compared to the competition now. So, uh, yeah, yeah, super easy. Like I said, it's got a, it's got detachable foam, so you can see I can pull the foam right out. Bam, bam. So you got the entire foam kit that all just peels right out. You can buy replacement ones of these, um, like fifteen bucks, maybe twenty at the top end. You can kind of see it's got little plastic notches, and you know you'll slide those back in, get them all back into place. So. Um, but yeah, so yeah, this is kind of a kind of the overview on the Bunker King goggle. I'm gonna pop the foam back in here. They'll start right at the center. We we'll get the center one in this hole. Foam's going back in. Got the top secured. How much retail on these? Good question. Uh, retail's only one sixty nine. Uh, so this is the top end, high end mask, and it only comes in at a. Uh, 169 bucks, so definitely very competitive with everything else that's out there. Uh, but yeah, so I got my foam kit all secured. Everything, this last little clip. Get in the bottom. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the lens for you guys. So lens is just gonna slide back in. I'm gonna make sure I got these two things folded out. So that way you can accept the lens. This kind of slides right in. You'll see the grooves on both sides. Um, you got your tabs up top. Make sure those tabs get lined up to those notches. So slide right in the track, right in the track, lined up. Lens just falls right back into place, perfectly easy. I'm gonna take these hinges I'm gonna hinge that back in, so that clips that side in. I'm gonna hinge that in. And then to reinstall the strap, you're just gonna pop it right back in. So just slide it in, you'll hear a clip. When I pull it, it's not coming out. Do the same thing on the other side. Bam, you hear it click, not coming out. So Bunker can come in completely, uh, I mean, you saw how quick that was. I took out the foam, took out the lens, broke the whole thing down to nothing, have it all right back together for you guys. So check these out. Awesome goggle. They've been a fan favorite for a lot of you guys. Like I said, you guys comment on our videos all the time how much you love the command goggles. So I want to show you these new colorways, um, show guys before that aren't familiar with it, um, how quick, how easy, you know, how loud you can project your voice. So um, yeah, pick one up, guys. These are available now. Shop down low with paintball.com. Make sure you check them out. Make sure you like this video. And then, of course, head on over to thejerkyden.com. Pick up some of that best beef jerky in the game. And, of course, I'm going to answer one question from my Uncle Mark, from one of you guys, uh, one of you subscribers out there. All right. Uh, Diego Lopez on the custom color combination shocker video right. that Tony put out wants to know, would you prefer one CS2 or a... 170R and an XLS. So buy just one gun, the CS2, or two guns, the 170R and an XLS. Yeah. Which do you prefer? I mean, I love the Shocker personally. That's one of my favorite guns. It doesn't matter the price point or anything like that. I just love the how they're small, they're light, that little hourglass frame fits great in the back of your hands. Uh, I mean, the 170R is pretty much like a junior CS2, um, you know, aside from a couple different features that it's missing, but the core, um, all that's pretty similar. So, ah, man, hit me with the tough one. Um, 
And then, of course, the CS2. I mean, it's just a beauty. I mean, it's just, you know, a status thing, too, of course. I mean, you know, you want to be the cool kid. You have, this, you know, the, the hottest item out there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, two guns are nice, though, so... Yeah, I guess I'd probably buy the two, honestly. It's not a bad move. I mean, that way you, you do got a backup. You kind of get the best of both worlds. You get your Planet Eclipse experience. You get the tracker experience. So, yeah, if it was me, I'd probably buy the two. And that way I got a backup and got a gun to hopefully get a buddy into the sport. So. Yeah, that's what my thought was. If yeah. you have the money, <laughs> get the two, and you can always sell one later, too, and still be playing with a True. solid gun. True. So. All right, that's it. If you got a question, leave it in the comments. And... I will get Joe or Tony to answer one randomly in every video. Thanks, oh. guys. See you later.